Hi Sagittarius, I'm Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards I'm using. I'm using the Oracle of Visions by Fira Manchetti and I'm using the Fantasy Cats Oracle and I'm also using a very old deck but one of my favourites by Hanson Roberts. I'm not using the um, uh, the time cards, season cards from Viola uh, Burberry, that's from the cats, the fantasy cats. I'm just using the attitude cards and the cat cards. I've just sort of like play around and got my own reading going here. Okay, Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 2nd to the 8th of March. And today it's the 1st of March, so pinch and a punch for the 1st of the month. <laughs> That's what we used to play at school. Okay, well, spring is coming in. Okay, I hope there will be beautiful spring time. Okay, now we're putting out the tarot cards. You see that I'm shaking them. I, I thought, well, I did uh, life today and I won't do it very long because I just wanted to show you that I do shake the cards before I do every reading. Okay, here we go. I've got them upside down, sorry. I do read upside down cards by the way. You want to get all kinds of messages. You get so much from the upside is upside down means reverse. Okay, now we're getting the Oracle Visions. No really big cards. And this is yours. Oh wow, psychedelic. Wow, sixteen number seven. Okay, luck is on your side. Started starting good. Okay, I will read from the book. I, the, I don't know them, but here you are. Um, all I get here is you are seeing things for the future. You are building for the future or planning for the future. And these look like islands, different islands or different facets. That could be facets of a diamond ring. That's how I think in of life. Every bit of us has a facet. Our exterior beauty is a facet, our inner beauty is a facet, our dreams are different facets, nurturing is a facet, everything that we do is a facet of life. Okay, and every time we go back we polish the facet until we are ready to put the diamond in the setting. Perhaps you are distancing, distancing yourself from family and friends and you're on your own little island far, far away. Perhaps you need freedom, walks along the beach, let the old cobwebs blow away. And there are also birds right underneath by her face. She's watching the birds fly away. Perhaps you have flown away. But the psyched, uh, psychedelic rainbow here is also reminding you your ancestors are with you. Distance, isolation, perspective. Yes, you're getting a different perspective in the time out that you flow away from the groups. Somebody's watching you most probably that could be your ancestors because the rainbow means that the world is connected with heaven. Distance not only gives nostalgia, but perspective and maybe objectivity. That is from Robert Morgan. Physical distance or emotional detachment serve to give us a greater comprehensive view. Distance may also provide a clear overall perspective. That's why they say take a step back, regroup and go back. So distance may also provide a clearer overall perspective 
then a close-up would. From this vantage point, we can often get the big picture and reach different conclusions. A solidary, solidar, solitary woman, sorry, I can't, sometimes I can't get out my words. A solitary woman strolls a desolated beach, her isolation providing a point of reflection, distanced from the influence of others. This is a scene of personal contemplation. The floating monoliths provide perspective and suggest the distance with great emphasis than would an empty sky, perhaps representing issues in her life. Their distance reinforces her isolation, but may also provide her with a perspective and clarity of vision that she seeks. We need to strike a balance when assessing a situation. Are we too closely involved or should we step back? In other words, if you have a relationship and you are thinking about a relationship, then it is better to step back before you have an argument and think about it to get your balance and regroup yourself through meditation, contemplation, isolation. But it's not good to isolate too long. You must, we all need people uh, by our sides. Okay, let's see what you've got, Sagittarius, for the first of the week. You've got deserving transformation. You're desiring transformation. That's perhaps what you're contemplating about. Okay, then we have grooming. Yes, keep it quiet. You're hiding behind, she's hiding behind her hair, but she's trying to groom herself by getting the balance. She doesn't, we've got the ladybird here, and the ladybird in Holland means no aggressiveness. Aggressiveness. She does it gently. So she is thinking about the situation at hand. What can she do? But she is also maintaining her own balance, her own well-being. She's honoring her well-being. Uh, your body is the temple of your soul. So you need to nurture yourself from time to time. Treat yourself and gently, as gently as you would a child. Allow the outer world problems and issues to dissolve as the mind, body and spirit is nurtured. The only thing that matters now is personal comfort and self-care. Put desires to the side, forget the future and focus on your here and now. Place yourself at the center of all priorities. Listen to inspiring music. Feed yourself nourishing foods. Treat yourself like a god or a goddess. Focus on actions and activities that bring pleasure. Make yourself the priority. Love the body and it will love you back. Become as compassionate to yourself as you would a child. It feels good to pamper or be pampered by another. Prepare for an unin inimaginably delicious outcome and trust resolutions is coming. Take your sweet time. Don't worry about the exterior and how you look when you are grooming yourself. You need no one's approval or permission. Deep grooming happens in the interior level. Work at the surface and move deeper at your own pace and private comfort zone. You belong to no one but yourself. You know what it is best for you. Okay. You reach your, for your higher, highest good and shower yourself in positive light. Wow, the positive light, the rainbow. And intentions. Your body is your best friend, your temple, and your soul's resting place. 
treat it with respect and spoil it frequently. Well, it is also number eight, that is the powerhouse and the money house. So expect good things to come when you are ready. Look at this, you might seek advice from a teacher, a doctor. Pamper that body. If you take care of that body, it will take care of you. You might need an Aries, Sagittarius. As the Hierophants stand also for Aries. Okay, another fire sign. It could also mean marriage. Bonding. The Hierophant brings people together. Officially. Okay. Then you have de desiring intimacy. You would like to have more intimate time with your friends or um, partner. Then you've got feeling. Number two, your imbalance on Wednesday. Sorry, I've got a drink glass of water. And number two is balance. You need the balance. That's why you're taking time out. But open your heart to receive intimacy, to receive positivity and love. Embrace your in, your vulnerability. Okay. Emotions, that's opening your also your solar plex, your heart. Are a way of gorging life's rhythms and results. Feel emotions without reacting out of them. Those who respond out of emotion are not acting in authenticity. Do not linger in extreme emotional spaces. That's why you do the retreating. And you're taking back time out to heal yourself. Our field line friends prefer relaxed state of being and are happy to model this for us. Follow them. Have a lead. The card to uh, confirm this is that you are being seen. You are getting respect. You are being seen. Um, this could be by an earth sign. It's um, a Virgo, Taurus or a Capricorn. Um, you are getting recognition that you are trying to get back into balance, that you are loving yourself. So people want to understand what you're doing. They might not understand because you might be very mysterious or secretive. Now, desiring balance. So you desire balance, you desire intimacy, and you are transforming. Then we've got the Siamese. Wow. And they know what they want. So that means ruling. Rule your own ground, your own space. You are in balance. Like I said, you are back in balance. I think it's a beautiful card. I've got a Siamese. She's much prettier than that. But I think it's really nicely depicted. Express your will, Sagittarius. You're good at that. You know what you want because you are a fire sign. Put plans into action. Call the shots. Stand up and protect your own ground. Own your own ground. You are in control now because you are in balance. You've got number six. Allow passion and fire to shine through. Every action and emotion you express, char charismatic fire align, alights the soul and all intentions lay down the rules and express personal power. So this is basically you, you rule your own world and you've come to the conclusion what you want. And so, sorry that's Millie playing. And so, know, know your boundaries, you know your boundaries. You're not building castles in the sky. You know your boundaries, let others know your boundaries. And there will be celebrations. There could even be a wedding for some of you. 
if that is what you wish. Awesome. And at the weekend, we have desiring belonging. Well, there you go. It is lying like this in this line. You want to belong to somebody. You want to partner up. Well, you've got the recognition. And you might be um, getting a new home. Because the Four of Wands also represents proper foundations. Proper foundations like a home. Buying a home or building a home. Renting a new home, a bigger place. Because you just got married and extended, you, you know what you want. Okay, and then we have the card Enchantment. Enchantment. Also a Sinus. No, not, not enchantment, watching. Sorry, an angel number, 11, watching. You are watching what, how you've come all the way. Magic. Sorry, I, I just have not got enough room. This is magic, this is really magic. Number 11, that's the doorway from the angels, like the two pillars on the high priestess and moon in the tarot. Observe, more information is needed. You need more information before you can finalize your plans to celebrate. Okay. The situation is unfolding. Allow for time to let things develop. Employ feline alertness to watch and wait for the right moment. Is the ultimate goal worth your effort and focus? Is something bigger and better in store? Biden... Mate, it's not on the computer, please. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Is the ultimate goal worth your effort and focus is something bigger and better in store widen your view open the aperture and allow the, the unfolding to provide every option what questions still need to be asked what information is still required do the detective work on your own for solitude ask allies to gather in information for you. That is the, the advice card. That could be an ally. This allows you to make your next move with grace and effectiveness. Do not let personal hunger, cravings and greed move you before the moment is ripe. Rewards are reaped for those with patience. Stay still and observe. Gifts are bestowed on those with perseverance. Cats are the active observers of any situation they are interested in. Become the active of observer by allowing full embodiment of moment. Emotions should slip away. Do not think or calculate, simply observe. Put desires on the back burner to become a neutral tracker. Then, big, the big picture comes into focus and all relevant details will be revealed. Wow. And you, once that happens, you'll be standing in your strength. Like I said, spiritual strength, your own psychological strength. Okay. You might be the advisor. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Love and patience, that is what she used to tame the lion. Love and patience. And you've got cat, cat, cat cards. You've got all these cat cards and you've got the cat in the tarot. So it could be another fire sign. You've got Aries and you've got Leo. Wow, you might be getting 
together with new fire signs, but you, you are contemplating on it. So, I'm going to do it this way. That's a good idea. I'm learning with every reading I do, I've kept this card on the side. And this is better. It's lovely. Uh, you see, with practice comes perfection. Wow. And now I've got something new. I do also charm reading. I've got charms and they look, they remind me of the Lenormand. So, uh, and I've got the beads, the real stone, and pink is the heart, and the uh, purple is the third eye, all the chakras, the emotional chakra, the solar plex, and the green is also the heart. I've just got the Reiki colors, um, and not the all the angelic colors, because I can't find the right colors for the ange uh, angelic Okay, here we go. And we've got, let's have a look, we've got the heart, we've got the heart. Let's see where it goes. Okay, the heart goes to the lion. Amazing, your strength. So open your heart to strength. Stand strong. Uh, love, uh, laughter. This is what I'm also, when you open your heart, you will receive love and laughter. People will stand in awe for you. Your fee lion, use your fee lion um, talents. Focusing on what is around you. Look at the telescope. Look further than your nose is long. Know your boundaries. People will respect it. You might feel in prison. You might feel in prison. This is a cage and the bird is in it. Look at that. The bird is in it. I don't know whether you can see it. Um, I had this problem, this issue before. I can't find anything dark. Perhaps this might help. Here you are, you can see the bird in the cage. So you might feel imprisoned, you might feel um, tied up. So you need to know your boundaries so that you are not imprisoned by anybody else. And this is also why you are isolating yourself, walking away from the community. You want space. You've got the angel feather, feather. the angels are with you. You're contemplating, you're using your spiritual side of yourself. Good, good, good. And then you've got the masculine sign. Okay. So you might be walking away or taking time out from a relationship or a friendship with a man. And then, that's why on this card, then on the feelings, um, you might be feeling lucky as you've got the clover and you, you might feel lucky because um, you've got the sign of the woman. You might be, um, you might be, um, hold on, my cat is bugging me on the camera. She's a sweetie. She really is. But she wants to, when I'm doing my cards, she wants to be here. And usually when I'm doing Sagittarius and you've got the moon. Oh, sorry. So that might be things that you don't know about a female. You might not know something about a woman or a girl. This could be your child. This could be a girlfriend. This could be your mother. So you've got the moon. There's the dark side of the moon. And the light side, the light is always beaming on your path. Follow the path to the north. Note the north star. You're on that, uh, if you're on that path, on the straight and narrow, you're on the right road. Luck is with you. And there could be a lady that might bring you luck, all that information as well. You might meet a cancer, could be a cancer lady. The moon stands for cancer. 
Wow. Listen to your intuitiveness, your higher self. Again, taking that time out when you're contemplating, but it's lying on feelings. You're trying to get back into balance. That's why you're taking time out. You could be taking time out from a cancer person, a woman. Wow. Um, you are in the spotlight because the moon, the star, and the sun, I haven't got the sun yet, I have got the star, um, they, are, uh, they illuminate and shine on things so that you are in the spotlight. Okay, you might be noticed by a cancer. Uh, sorry, Pisces. The moon is Pisces and the Pisces are also known as uh, the, the psychic. It's the last house, the oldest soul. Um, it's not cancer. I always thought it was cancer because that's also a water sign. So don't exclude Scorpio or cancer either. But the moon is Pisces. But listen to your spirituality, your higher self, your feelings, the new thoughts that come in when you sit quietly or when you isolate yourself to contemplate or meditate. I think this is an awesome reading. This is really brilliant. Scorpio and you were one of the best readings that I've done this time. Wow. Please remember that together we stand strong. So give us the thumbs up and share this video with family and friends. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the life. If not, I'll see you in the next video.